Welcome to Hair Hub, your home for authentic information on matters hair and scalp. Today I want us to discuss um, scarring alopecia or form of hair loss that leaves your scalp with a scar. Now it simply leaves a scar because the white, the, the white blood cells completely kill the hair follicles and where the skin, um, I mean the, the area that the, 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 the follicle was, the skin cannot uphold the vacuum. So what happens it fills that uh, particular space with a scar tissue. Now. Scarring alopecia is a stress-related form of hair loss, but it's an autoimmune condition because you must have the genetic predisposition. Now, this is a form of hair loss whereby white blood cells kill your own hair follicles. Now, I know we've discussed other forms of hair loss that involve white blood cells, but the difference is that in those other forms of hair loss, the white blood cells will only kill the hair stem cells but will leave the follicles. But with scarring form of hair loss, the hair follicle is damaged and that tells you that you will lose the hair permanently. Now, the most common form of scarring alopecia that we see today and, and particularly in African or Asian patients is something we call frontal fibrosing, whereby you start losing hair on your front hairline and that could continue chewing hair around the hairline and, and eventually you lose everything on your scalp. But the key thing you will notice that your scalp would be very itchy. Your hair will look like it's growing on pimples and the area will be very, very shiny and it's a slow process. Most cases of scarring alopecia are triggered by stress. It could be psychological stress, it could be physical stress, or it could be any form of pressure that the body cannot really resist. So my advice is that the moment you realize that you're losing hair in a particular manner, where you think that you're losing the hair follicle or the scalp is quite itchy or it's getting very shiny then it's the high time that you seek treatment now the good news is that autoimmune conditions we cannot claim to treat them permanently but we have successively managed them and restored hair in that particular area where the hair loss had happened already so the key thing is that make sure that you stop any further hair loss and then after that we can work on restoring what had been lost like i always say do not sit back and watch your hair disappear because that will deprive you of your confidence. I hope that you will be here next week as we discuss more on hair loss. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it behind and I should be able to respond to you. And I hope to see you next week. Thank you for watching.